Hi, my name is Julie Roman, and I'm on the tech marketing team for the CMBU at VMware. And today I wanted to give you a demo of vRealize Log Insight Interactive Analytics. So here we're on the home page for Interactive Analytics, and I'm just seeing the, all the log messages for the last five minutes of data. Typically, what we'll do is come in and search for a specific object that we're looking for logs on. So I'll look at logs for this specific host. This will pull up all the log data where this host is present. And on the events tab, I have a couple options. I can filter for events like this, events not like this, highlight and colorize different um, event types, uh, view the event in context, so seeing the events immediately before that. And I can also open in vRealize Operations Manager if I want to see the object details in there or if I want to troubleshoot. I've got these blue fields here that are extracted, and these typically are installed with a content pack. Um, so I've got all of this data. If I mouse over it, it will highlight the detail in the log message if it's present, or it will just give me the information, um, such as which vCenter it's coming from. If I want to view the information in like in a more spreadsheet-like format, I can see the logs um, in this view, so everything's lined up by the specific fields. I can view the different event types. So here we're using machine learning to group similar events um, together. So instead of seeing this particular event 3,718 times, I'm seeing all the similar events grouped together. And then I can expand on them to see the individual log messages that make up the events. And under event trends, I'll see the events as they're coming in, trending up in the environment or trending down. This can be helpful if um, I'm trying to troubleshoot an issue where I'm getting a lot of events. I can pinpoint what specific event is generating all the log messages. And this is uh, comparing it to the last 50 minutes of data. If I come back on the event, events tab, um, I, somebody may have asked me to export all of the events for this specific time period, in which case I can come in and I can expect export the event results. Anything over 20,000 events will require that I provide an NFS mount. Otherwise, I can export the events locally if they're under 20,000. I'm going to cancel out of that for now. We're going to um, clear out our query, and I want to search for a specific event um, or specific log, log, log messages where this app name exists. So I'm just going to say I want to look where it exists. So I will do a search, and I'll get this chart that's showing me all the logs where app name is present. And in order to make this more useful, instead of grouping the events um, solely by time series, I want to group it by the specific app name. So then my chart will update, um, and it will show me all the different app names present in the log messages. And I can change the chart type if I like to anything um, that makes sense for me. And then once I have uh, this query, I may want to favorite it. And I may also want to add it to a dashboard. So we'll create a new dashboard. I have the option to save this to all users of the system, or I can just save it to my dashboard. So I'm just going to save it to my own personal dashboard. So it's created the dashboard, and then I'm going to add this widget to the dashboard.
Now, maybe I don't know what to filter on. So we're going to clear out this filter and reset our chart type. And we're going to go back to looking at all the events over the last five minutes of data. Um, this fields area on the right hand side is showing me all of the different fields that are present in the log messages for the last five minutes. So I can click on the app name here as well, and I'll see all the different app names and the count of events per app name. Then I'll have things like um, VMware host. So if I want to view all of those present, I'll see that information as well. So this is helpful for knowing which fields I may want to filter on. Like here I have a product ID. So why don't we go ahead and I'm going to filter on product. Um, and in this one we'll do Apache. So these are the log messages um, where the product is Apache. And instead of doing count of events, maybe I want to do a numeric function. And it's not letting me do a numeric function because I don't have um, anything available with the numeric function. So let me increase this to the last hour of data. And now um, I have more events, so there are some functions that I can create. So I'm going to do a numeric function, and we're going to do this for response size. And I want to do the sum of all the response sizes for the web pages requested. And I want to make this more useful, so I want to view this by the specific host name. This will give me all the data for the total response size over time for these uh, various hosts. And then again, I can add this, I can favorite, add it to a dashboard, or if I want, I can actually do a snapshot. And what this is going to do is create a snapshot of this query for the specific time frame, so that if I want to snap back to it, um, I can view the query over this specific time frame. Then I'm going to clear out this filter. And I'm going to do a search for a specific application. And this is an internal application that we have. We'll just go to the last five minutes of data. And it doesn't look like I've got enough results, so I'm going to go to the latest hour of data. Log Insight does a really good job of extracting fields, um, especially when you have content packs installed. Um, and there's over 70 different content packs in the marketplace for various applications. But in the case of a homegrown application, we might not have all the fields extracted that we want. And so we do have this option. If we're on the Events tab, we can select a specific field. So I have the client information of the um, client that's requesting the web page. So if I wanted to extract this field, I would simply highlight it and click on Extract. And we're going to call this the open card client. And we'll just make this available to me for now, but I could share this with everyone. It's extracting the value using regex automatically for an IP address. And then it's giving the pre and post context. So pre, we have client. And then post context, we have a colon and then a number. However, this number represents probably like an RPC port, and so that's not going to be consistent um, in all the log messages. It won't be the same port number. So I'm going to clear out that specific port and just leave the colon in there. And I'll save that information. And now in my fields table, I'll see the OC client listed here. And if I click on it, I'll get all the individual clients 
for the specific time frame I've selected, so for the last hour. I'm going to reset this, and I'm going to search for a user account that I created earlier for this demo. So I created a user demo test, and I did that within the last six hours. So I want to show you how to create an alert based on a log message. So I've got these different messages. Um, an account was changed. And what I'm looking for is that an account was created. So I have this message that a user account was created. And if I look for the specific event ID, I can see that it's 4720. So I'm going to clear out this name. I'm going to add a filter for event ID equals 4720. And then I'm only getting the results that the event was created, not the other log messages related to that account. And then I can create an alert from this query. And we have other options, so we can notify via webhook, and that would be where maybe you want to do an automated action and be realized orchestrator, or maybe you want to send the notification to Slack. You could configure that. You could also send the alert to be realized operations manager. And we're going to do this on any match. You also have some options where you could have the alert only send if you're seeing a certain uh, amount of events over a period of time. So maybe you only care if you get more than 10 events of that over an hour or something, and you could configure that here. But we want to be notified any time this action occurs. And then I can click Save. And then when a new user is created, I'll get an alert. I hope you've enjoyed this overview demo. If you want to see more demos, please check out our Log Insight YouTube channel.